Yesterday, the euro spent almost the entire day moving downwards. The focus of market participants was on Fed Chair Jerome Powell's speech. Market participants expected the head of the Fed to comment on the recent U.S. jobs report. Let me remind you that statistics on the U.S. labor market turned out to be unexpectedly upbeat. The unemployment rate fell and non-farm payrolls surged. However, some believe that February's figures are ambiguous and will be revised down. In the meantime, data shows that the U.S. economy remains resilient and job growth is strong. Against this background, Jerome Powell said that further strong labor market reports could prompt the regulator to act more aggressively. As a result, the dollar rallied, thus putting pressure on risky assets, including the euro and the British pound. As for the current situation, it is difficult to predict whether bulls or bears will take the lead. The euro may well recover from the downtrend initiated in early February as part of a correction. Alternatively, the US dollar may extend losses. Before we get into technical analysis, let's take a look at today's macroeconomic calendar. It includes speeches by ECB and Bundesbank officials. Traders may also take notice of speeches by Fed members. U.S. Federal Reserve Governor Christopher Waller and New York Federal Reserve President John Williams are set to speak today. Most likely, they will stress the need to further raise interest rates. This, in turn, will support the greenback, so one should count on a steep rise in risky assets in the second half of the, of the day. Given that the calendar is bathed of any macroeconomic indicators, it will be possible to be guided by the nearest resistance and support levels. And now let's consider the euro-dollar pair from a technical point of view. According to the one-hour chart, it is worth focusing on the range limited by the levels of 1.0672 and 1.0764. The 1.0718 mark acts as middle line. If the price slides and forms a fall breakout at 1.0718 following ECB officials' statements, the euro is likely to jump to 1.0764. A false breakout followed by a return below, below this level will create a sell signal. In this case, bears will aim for the middle of the range. If the price fixes below 1.0718 and tests it from the bottom up, the volume of short positions will increase further. Thus, the euro will dip to 1.0672. At this level, bulls will probably make every effort to regain control of the market. A false breakout at 1.0672 will create a buy signal, driving the price back to the middle of the range. Thus, traders may try to make money on intraday moves on 35-40 pips. In case the European currency rises above 1.0764, short positions will be relevant only amid a false breakout at 1.0795 or on a rebound at 1.0827, with a view to catching an intraday correction of 25-30 pips. Likewise, long positions can be considered on a rebound at the support levels of 1.0618 or 1.0569, counting on, a correct, on corrections of 25-30 pips. Meanwhile, the pound-dollar pair remains range-bound. The levels of 1.1964 and 1.2088 serve as the lower and upper boundaries of the range respectively. The 1.2024 mark acts as its middle line. A false breakout at 1.2088 will make it possible to go short and lock in part of the profits at 1.2024. If the price breaks through this mark and tests it from the bottom up, an additional sell signal will be generated. 
In this case, the pound sterling will most likely dive to 1.1964. At this level, I recommend going long amid a false breakout. Long positions on a rebound can be considered at 1.1881. The most likely scenario is that the pair will continue trading in a wide sideways range. However, if the price gets out of it, short and long positions on a rebound will be relevant at 1.2041 and 1.1881 respectively. Best of luck!